organic wheat grains, right? That's in a sack. It's in a muslin bag. M-U-S-L-I-N. Best part about helping brew beer is having another home brew. Mm. This is a um, something similar to an anchor steam. Pretty good. Actually really good. How long do you let this boil then? Uh, Till it reaches a certain temperature. It's supposed to get up to 60 degrees and then hold it for 10 minutes. Crank that up a little more. Look at that. So that's all the grains and everything coming out of that bag. Just Yeah, it's all the... See so what they do is they grind it. They grind it there for you. And uh, you can have anything landed in the house. Don't be too worried about hanging over it. Everything is going to go in a boil for 60 minutes. That will kill anything that falls in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had a cork fall in my last batch. I was <laughs> Luckily, I sanitized it. So after this is done boiling, what's next? Well, now that we maintained 160 degrees for 10 minutes, I'm going to take out the bag. Shake it out a little bit, make sure I get all that fermentable sugars out of there. And then move on to getting it to a boil after we put in the uh, malt extract. Or extract brewing here. And here's the brewer's assistant. Yeah. As you can see, I'm really happy. <laughs> And normally we would let it sparge, but the recipe doesn't call for that, so now we're not going to explain what sparging is. Sparging, sparging is, holds it, is <clears throat> put in water, you'd have to put, get some water around 174, 75, and pour it through there. A little bit hotter than what you, you, were, you had it in, and it will go through the grains and uh, get some more of that, those sugars out of there. And I'm told if I drop the camera in there, it's okay, it'll boil out. <laughs> Although you never gonna be able to use your camera. <laughs> this this beer tastes a little bit like camera. What you can't use beer in it? Yeah, if you've ever made it we just bought this just for brewing, but if you actually I already made turkey tried, in mine. Oh no, yeah, you're, you're you, can't can't you can use my equipment. Okay. I wonder how much time you cut off using malt extract. Because really what they did is they already went ahead and boiled the grains and created the wort. Oh, really? And then it's concentrated dried wort. So then you're just adding it back to hot water to reconstitute it. Okay. Almost boiled over. Uh, okay, here we go. Now we got two different kinds of hops here. We've got... This uh, alpha acids is 8.0. That's more of a bittering hop, and this is more of an aroma hop. Spatula nearby. Okay, now we gotta start the timer for an hour. One hour? Uh oh. We're gonna need a beer for this. Absolutely. <laughs> Actually, I was gonna have you go get me fill up our pitcher. Uh -huh. Ooh, fill up the pitcher. Now I'm a beer wench. <laughs> awesome. Uh oh. Raise beer wench. Ooh, that smells good. Yeah, doesn't it? This is the war chiller. And I put it in to disinfect it beforehand. Now what's going to happen is this boil is going to go right down. Because it's going to be too cold. And you're sanitizing it. Yeah, we're saying this is a good way of sanitizing it. Okay, these are for aroma. These are the aroma hops? Yeah. 
put them in for the last five minutes to calm this down. What kind of hops are they? They are Cascade hops. Mmm. I can be hot. That's just amazing. This water, we need to find a place, better place to put it. Oh, I see. So that water go, the cold water goes into that thing, circles around, right. comes yeah. back around, and so and then you're then just pouring out the water, so it's cooling the whole batch. Yeah, and the water feels pretty warm. When it, it, it's, it's amazing how like much heat it ta just takes off of that. So you take that out of there. Don't hold that down itself. Okay, you can grab a side, and what I want to kind of do is get some of these hops. Huh. Just to show you that Rob is actually working during this process that's and not just videoing it. Well, this will strain all the hops out, right? Actually, what this is just to water, show you what they're doing. Get some air. Every time you have your beer hitting, it looks like it's air. Like this is kind of disrupting your uh, your air rate in the beer. <laughs> Okay. See Ooh. that? That's all part of the brewing process. Oh, and we might note this. What's that? The carrier for the... Yeah. It's yeah. called a beer bra. But I did it before you got here was... I took a British Aggies and they come in these packets and they're called smack packets now. You find a little bubble in there and then you smack the hell out of the bag. And as you can see that it expanded, that means your yeast is active now. That's the yeast gonna, in there. That's the yeast? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's liquid though. Yeah. Yeah. They add it to like, the liquid. There's the bubbler, and now I just need to find the lid for it. Airlock. Airlock bubbler. What will happen is these will become, these will become active and it'll, the air will come out of here. Stop touching it, your fingers are dirty. It's in the outside of it, it's okay. <laughs> that will bounce, start bouncing up and down. And well, there's a cap, but you can, if it's doing it right, you'll hear the pit, 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 of hit, 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 past the cap right on top. But you wouldn't actually be able to bottle this now for um, at least a week. It would have to go through this primary fermentation. Okay. And then you could bottle it Usually they have you transfer it into another container after the first week. And how long does it sit in that container? For about another week, and that's just to let everything, it's like a secondary fermentation. Is that what you guys are going to do with this? Yeah. Okay. So that's two weeks there that it would just, you would have one week in this carboy. All right. And you would siphon it out into another carboy. All right, and then it sit for a week. Uh, and then after that? And then after two weeks, you can bottle it. Which you guys are actually going to keg it, right? Right. So, and we actually may let it, because we keg, we may actually let it ferment a little bit longer than like a week. Like and why would you do that? Weeks. Just to make sure. Actually, you'd let it clear. I'm sorry, not the first fermentation. You'd probably keep it in your secondary fermentation to let it clear. Let all the stuff settle out of it. Okay. And do you strain all that stuff out of it? Well, when you siphon it out with a tube, you don't really. Oh, you don't get all the bottoms of it. Because the sediment's on the bottom. So yeah, you don't. If you had a, some kind of filtration process, you could filter it. Then you never filter it. And there's the cap. Yep. Yeah.